Um, here we go. Um, for the seven years that I've known Matthew, um, I've never been able to wrap my head around the fact that he and Grandma never met. He came into the, our lives and Emily's life um, shortly after she passed. And while it's really sad that the two of them never got to meet, they do share a purpose. When Grandma passed, it was and has been really hard for everyone that loved her for different reasons. I may be interjecting here, as I've been known to do, but for Emily, I think the reason losing Grandma was hard is because she lost the person who truly was her biggest fan. Now, I know Grandma's often served that role for many of us, but for Emily, who learned to love herself much later in life, uh, Grandma's adoration was the reason she needed her. And while I think it's okay, although unfair, that Matthew and Nancy never met, Matt stepped into Emily's life as Grandma stepped out, almost as if she was stepping aside for him. She said, she's going to be just fine. And I can hear that Nancy Jane voice saying, just fine, with her classic little smirk. She must have known that just around the corner was stubborn Matthew who won't listen when mom says he better help him first, himself first at dinner, who shares his food with me when I'm jealous of what he ordered, who talks with Izzy, who is so cautious about sharing her heart for hours, who is the other son who eagerly wants to learn all the things that dad can teach him, and who, as Jimmy mentioned, the brother he never had. Matthew is the person who adores Emily in the way she needs to be adored, so she could grow into the confident person she is today. So while I will never remember that you didn't cross paths with Grandma, because how in the world can two of the most important people to the Beauvais never have connected? It helps that I understand that you didn't need to. Although Nancy Jane isn't here today to tell Emily how gorgeous she looks and how neat she is, as Grandma would for sure have said, Matthew is here today and he will be forever. Sorry, here, do that again. You make it look sick. It looks beautiful. Mm -hmm.
Emily, you are the most amazing and beautiful person I have ever met. How do you tell the person who you love the most in the world how important they are? I decided to reflect on how we got here and how you've impacted my life in ways I will forever be grateful for. First, you were the one who asked me out on our first date, which proves you've always had the best sense of taste. <laughs> At the time, I never would have guessed that a shared love of seasoned fries from Red Naps would have introduced me to my best friend and my future wife. I started thinking about the first time you met my family and how they all told me they knew I was going to marry you. They told me that they could see the way we looked at each other was really special. I also then thought about when you first met my friends and how they all told me not to screw this up. <laughs> and I'm gonna quote some of them up here, some of them right here, because they said, and I quote, she is way out of your league. <laughs> Over the last six years, our relationship has grown and we've been through so much together. But the one thing that has always been constant is you've always been there with me. You helped me through some of the toughest times of my life and helped me come out stronger. You celebrated with me for some of my best times as well. You always helped me see the bright side and encourage me to focus on the good in life. We made it through a challenging last couple years and came out stronger and closer together. We adopted two cats and you helped me come way too proud of a cat dad, who as some of the people here will know, I'll show a picture of them to anybody. Whenever anyone meets you, they always tell me how special you are. What they don't realize is that they only get to see a fraction of how amazing you are. I feel lucky because I get to see it every day. You are the most beautiful person inside and out. You are the kindest person who sees the best in everyone. You are so incredibly smart and passionate that it encourages anyone lucky enough to experience it to chase their own dreams. You always look for the positive in any situation. I promise to you that I will always be the Dwight to your Michael and always be there to support and encourage your dreams. I promise to always be by your side for the hard times with the shoulder to cry on and be there for the good times to celebrate your success. I promise to always respect you and work hard to always make our relationship stronger. I promise to always rewatch New Girl in between every other show, even if we just finished it. But most importantly, I promise to always love you and be the person you deserve. Can I go next? Yeah, you're next. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mine aren't as long, so. <laughs> Matt, you came into my life when I needed you the most. And from that moment on, you have given me love, safety, and support I never thought I would have. You looked at me, the cat girl on Halloween, who wouldn't stop giving you bum dumb bowling tips, and you didn't run away. And I am eternally grateful. I love you. I love how you fit in with my family. I love how you asked me if it was okay if you ate a hamburger on our first date. <laughs> I love how whatever it is we do, whether it's taking a walk or hiking while you listen to me point out insects and plants, obsessing over every cute thing the cats do, or sitting on the couch doing a puzzle and watching New Girl for the hundredth time. <laughs> Being with you makes everything better. I love how you support me in everything I do and that what is important to me becomes important to you. I promise to make you laugh. I promise to listen to you. I promise to take care of you the way you take care of everyone else. I promise to be your partner in all things and to love you for the rest of our lives. You are my soup snake, and I love you. All right. Thank you. See you. And now you may seal your vows with a kiss. Let us bless God for all the gifts in which we rejoice today. 
We bless you for the joy which your servants Emily and Matthew have found in each other and pray you give them such a sense of your constant love that we may employ our strength in a life of praise of you whose work holds true and endures forever. And we ask that you pour down your grace upon Emily and Matt, that they may fulfill the vows they've made this day and reflect your steadfast love and their lifelong faithfulness to each other. Amen.